Welcome to Artmind. Today we are learning the crop tool in Photoshop and this is part 2. Since we have already learned these options in part 1, we are going to start with the straighten option. So you can see that this is an image of a window which is somewhat tilted. In order to align it horizontally in a perfect straight line, we need the straighten option. With the straighten option selected, we need to click it on the edge of the window and then drag it along the line and then release it. This will bring the inclined edge of the window to a horizontal straight line. You can click on this check mark to confirm the crop or you can hit enter. Next is the overlay option or what I like to call the guide option. This overlay option helps you to compose your photographs correctly. In this photograph, the Statue of Liberty is awkwardly placed at the center. It doesn't make the composition quite interesting. So to correct this, we'll use the guide option or the overlay option. These are the guide options for you here, but the most widely used guide is the rule of thirds. Now as I click on the photograph, the photograph divides into three parts, horizontally as well as vertically. Hence the name rule of thirds. The main concept is to keep important objects in an image close to these four points. So I'll track the crop towards the left and try to bring the head of the Statue of Liberty closer to this point. So you can see how quickly the dull image now creates an impact. There are other kinds of guides or overlay options to help you compose your images, like the creed option here. We will discuss why this region reappeared again in the next tutorial. Then you have the diagonal option. Try to play around with these options and find out how they can help you compose your images. Then we have the triangle. The golden ratio. And the golden spiral. But you'll mostly find yourself using the rule of thirds. Now you have some other options under the overlay option. Always show overlay. What it means is that it will always show you a guide whenever you click on the image. Next is auto show overlay. It doesn't show the guides when you click on the image at first. But it will appear when you hold on to the left mouse button. And it will go away when you release the mouse button. Then is never show overlay. With this selected, if you click on the image, it will never show the guides. Next we have the cycle overlay. What it does is cycles through these guides here. So now if you click, it will cycle to the next option which is greed. And if you head on to the options, you will see an additional shortcut given. So now if I hit O, it will cycle to the diagonal guide. Hitting O again takes you to the triangle guide and so on. That brings us to the last option, cycle orientation. Just note the shortcut shift plus O. If I hit shift plus O, it will change the orientation of the guide. Keep hitting shift plus O a couple of times to get to the correct guide orientation you want. Try to play around with the cycle orientation option with the other guides as well. And this is all I have for today. Make sure to check the other videos. Bye.